Yo. What is up, sucker mother lovers? You know, I can't sing, but just not in this outfit. How y'all doing, sucker mother lovers? Mm, mm, mm. Basketball wise, huh, they back. They really back, for real, for real. Let's get right into it. Let me just say this. I really feel that if she's upset, like, it's one of those situations where you just wish your friend would just say sorry, say I can move past it, but it's becoming damaged goods to where now because Jen is on this, I'll speak up and I'll talk and you know, whatever. Now it's just becoming bad. But Fuzi, she just so messy. Like as soon as she gets whatever, you know, I just, you know, it's just weird. You know, it's not, I'm just not used to being around Evelyn without Fuzi. I mean, without Jen. It's just so weird, so awkward. It ain't that awkward because your black ass, well, she ain't even black. Your lisp ass, you just always want to find out the tea. You, you messy. I, I predict it's going to happen. I, I think episode six or eight, you're going to get slapped. Somebody just need to nudge her real hard when she fall off the curb or something. I'm just saying. Talking about she didn't know, like, what the issue was. Girl, you know you probably got that blog screen captured on your iPhone. You seen it, girl. You done zoomed in, and you probably got it as your screen say with your messy self. Y'all, she... I can't. If I see her, I will pull her hair just a little hard. Mm. Y'all remember we used to do that back in the day when you like somebody, you pull their hair? I just did that. I just pushed people hard. I did. Let me tell you something. It was two times that I teared up in the last two episodes. In episode number two, it had to be when Evelyn and her sister was talking about their brother, her brother-in-law, Anthony. Yeah, that got me. Like, it has to be so hard to watch a loved one dying of cancer. Um, a lot of you guys may know or may not know that I actually lost my sister to cancer um, a couple of years ago. So, just watching somebody that you love, you know, battle that and you just know that no matter what you say or do or pray, or you cannot. You know, you can't help them. It's, it's out of your hands. The only person, you know, that could help them is God, you know. And when he says it's your time, it's your time, you know. So, it's so hard. But how amazing was that idea for Jen's mom, I mean for Evelyn's mom to say that Anthony, you know, God willing, should walk her down the aisle. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I really pray, like, clearly this has happened already. I, I really pray that he's able to do it. Or at least just be there, you know. Oof. Wasn't, was I the only one that was real pro proud to hear that Royce had went to university had graduated? I'm so proud of her. And it was, you know, I was looking at her audition and it was so much better than... Do y'all remember when uh, Sheree had auditioned for something? It was just god-awful. But I think she got her part too. But I was really happy that, you know, Royce, of course, with work and, you know, reading. Like, she'd just be herself. And I feel like, you know, the part really fit her and it seemed realistic to me. So, kudos to her. I'm going to go try to get me a play in New York so I can say I've been in a play in New York even if the play is just gonna be shot at Walgreens and you know you can only see it when you come through the drive through pharmacy to pick up your medicine but at least I'm here to say I was in a play in New York was I the only one that Carwin Royce was like uh, saying her lines to the gentleman that she was never looking at him she was more so looking in the mirror almost gave me strip but I got real nervous and I wanted to tap Royce, Royce on her shoulder and say you are not at the script club you just really not stop it Y'all, I was so flabbergasted when I saw Kenya on them videos. Like, you know, we see a lot of people on YouTube all the time. You know, a lot of us, you know, I had a video or two. I done took it down so you can forget about trying to find it. You ain't ever, never going to find it. But, you know, I think we done all had a little, I'm going to dance in front of the camera and be sexy. You know, I'm going to do a Beyonce move. I, no, I think after a certain age, maybe like 16, 17, you got to stop doing it. You know, every once in a while we can slide one in at maybe 20, 21. But after a while, you got to know that it's not cute that you learning all the Beyonce routines and putting yourself on YouTube with outfits and even sit up there raising out the bed. First of all, Susie, you so dumb. You did not realize that she was doing Beyonce videos? Just please go sit your ass down somewhere. Get on my nerves. Y'all, Kenya ain't rap too tight. I just want to go on record and say that firsthand. She is not. At all. Not even a little bit. Like, we, when she smiles, she make me nervous. She just kind of be like, like, she just dumb dog dumb. Kenya, independent artist? To who? Herself? She walked in there with a whole team of nobodies. Girl, I can't. I just can't. But I was like, I ain't mad at you with your mom. But y'all sure wasn't about to pay that $1,000. Then her brother, manager, gonna come talking about, ooh, a thousand, a thousand times eight. 
eight thousand fool. It ain't hard. It's a lot of money. Now, you need to just go shoot it in somebody's backyard and call it a day. Get them people fifty dollars and some barbecue. I'm just saying. You need to know your level. You are not on the level of having the hottest club in your video, girl. You better take a picture, a couple of like a little still video of it, and ask them to let you do that for fifty dollars and use a green screen and put yourself in there. Be smart. You ain't doing too good of it, and even I know that one. Y'all, was I the only one that was laughing so hard when Keisha and um, Royce were working out? And she was like, I just got your, I just need your advice about, you know, what's going on with Kenya and this and that. And then Royce was kind of like, hey, girl. Like, girl, you know, y'all all know that's the hootie who when somebody's coming that y'all talking about. Just the hootie who them person. They don't even say, he should come, he should come. What's up, girl? Hey. But somebody like Tammy, girl, we was just talking about you when you walked in. I'm going to just go and put it out there. Y'all, you got to love Tammy, boy. Tammy, she don't care. She don't care. I just love Tammy, old messy self. I, she a lot calmer so far. It's just episode three, so I don't know. But we'll see. Did Kenya really call her a hater? She called Keisha a hater because Keisha was trying to help her and be honest. Baby, you got a long way to go. If you calling somebody like Keisha a hater, you have absolutely no idea. None. I was sad when Royce called her daddy. Because, you know, it got to be hard to really love somebody, but you really can't, um, you know, be happy with that because somebody that you love so much like your dad, like, they're just against it. But it's one of those situations, like, a lot of times your parents are right. You know, I... I learned. It took me a while and some years, but a lot of times they're right. So, sometimes they send stuff, and then sometimes they are just being a little bit too protective. So, you know, Royce has to stand for what she believes in, and, you know, she believes in this relationship with this guy. What's his name? Desmond? Darrell? Damon? Who is? What's his? I don't remember. Daryl? Somebody? I don't know. Him. That guy right there. I was so happy. At first, when Royce first got the part, like, she was just kind of sitting there, kind of like, I mean... I don't know, because you didn't call me. You got to get the call first before you can call him. Yeah. But I was so happy when she started. Y'all know I love me some Royce. When she started, she was excited. She just really started. Ah, ah, you better celebrate like Chris Tucker. You better get it, girl. Hey, hey. Y'all know I love Chris Tucker. That is my favorite. That is like my ultimate. That's on my bucket list. I need to be in a movie with him, even if I was just an extra. I need him. So watching Ev and Ocho Cinco de Mayo talk, it was just sad to me because it's like, Ev, even Haley Berry get cheated on. Like, you got to know, like, what lifestyle it is. You got to know that dealing with a, an athlete, this is this kind of comes with it. And I was actually catching up real late on the last episode of Love and Hip Hop. And um, who was that? Uh, Chrissy and Crybaby. I always sound like she's crying. I don't mean to call her that, but... Uh, dang, I can't think of her name, but, oh, Emily, they were talking, and, um, some girl named Winter, I guess, Summer Fall, whoever she was, she told, uh, Emily that basically, you want to drive a Bentley, you want to do this, this comes with the lifestyle, you got to know your man gonna cheat, is that really how it's supposed to go, like, women, like, is that what we do now, like, so we can have this lavish life, you give up your respect, like, and deal with a guy knowing that he's cheating on you, and it was crazy because Ocho Cinco de Mayo just straight up said, I mean, I want to be able to look at a girl and say I can take her back home. And then Evelyn, your response, well, well what if I don't like her? What? I just screech, huh? I'm, you can see it all up in his eyes that he had been cheating. It was crazy because it was like when she asked, when she was like, you know, just tell me, tell me, tell me. He was kind of like, hey, 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 I mean, you know, I'll be on the road. He's kind of telling you right there, Ev, but... Yeah, he was kind of looking at her kind of like, are you sure you really want to know what's happening? Because I really don't think you really want to know what's happening. Evelyn, girl, what? hey, y'all know rule number one? Never, ever, ever ask a question that you really don't know what you really don't want to know the answer to. Number two, never go snooping for what you know you're going to find. I'm just saying. Now, I just have to ask my viewers something. I know I got eight men watching about 1,264 women. So... I just gotta ask everybody that's watching me. Um, is that how we do it now? Like, is that do y'all feel like that's the ultimate, just, ex, uh, just the ultimate fix on why men cheat, why women cheat, is to now menage quiet out and bring people into your relationship? Is that what y'all think? You do realize that after a while they're going to get bored with sharing and then they're going to want to say, I'm an only child. I need to not, I don't want to share anymore. I want to go have somebody on the side without you. 
I'm just saying. I let me tell you. I done seen a couple of couples that you know. Well, I mean, we're not kinky. We just want to explore. We just want to try something different. Mm, a couple of them couples ain't together no more. And now the second little piece is now the main piece. Yeah, you got oh. Oh, Jesus, it's just too much. I, I, let me tell you something. I'm stingy. With an A, I ain't sharing nothing. You hear me? You ain't getting it I, while I got it. Now, while I'm around, see, I'm like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Chrissy, just d respect me. Don't don't let me find out. Because when I find out now, I feel like you ultimately disrespected me. You ain't even trying to do that behind closed doors. You did it out in the open. Oh, you want to get slapped. You want to cut the power. I'm just saying, did y'all see that that was a sign across all upside his head? Sometimes you got to do it. That's, I don't condone in fighting and stuff. Don't let people do you like that. You are not second or third. You need to be first. If you're not first, then you're last. You know what I really, really think, y'all, as we were going into episode three, I started thinking that I feel like Evelyn, she really does not want to admit that Jen was possibly right when she was telling her, don't date no more athletes. But it's not just men. I mean, it's not just the athletes. They just have a wider access of cooch. But men, they could be working at Walmart and they still going to cheat with the cashier on lane 7. I'm just saying, like, people going to cheat. I don't care who you are. You can be Mr. You can be President Obama. I don't think he really... I don't know. I don't want to say Obama, Mr. President cheating. But I'm saying, like, President Bush was getting it popping in the over office. Monica, you nasty for keeping that dress. I always want to say that out loud. You about as nasty as a white child boy or low down dirty. Black bronze with a wig on. You just dirty. Nasty keeping a dress. Who keep dresses with stuff on them? Just disgusting. Y'all, I must have about had died when Evelyn imitated how <laughs> Kenya's hair was leaning to the side. Mm. I couldn't. I had to pause the TV for a second because I was like, she didn't just do that. It was so funny, but it was true. Like her hair, it just be sitting there like this. She be like, hey, hey, hey. girl, you are married to somebody that can buy you better hair, get it done better or something. I'm... Her hair frustrate me. Just cut it off and start over. Y'all know for a quick minute, I really forgot that Keisha was a dancer. Um... But I was so happy that Kenya finally listened to somebody. Now, of all people, she listened to Evelyn. But I don't care. Like, listen to, girl, somebody, Snoop Doggy Dog, somebody. You need to listen to people when they're trying to tell you. Like, I was so happy that they encouraged her to take the videos down. I just wish that I had a scene. One of them was leaked or something. I wish I would have seen something. Because that was pure D comedy. The eight seconds that we did see on TV, that shit's name was funny. I was like, she's serious. And she's like, I mean, I edit this myself. That ain't nothing to be proud of. You need a better camera like mine. This is a Canon S100. This camera is the bomb dot. What comes shooting in HD all day, every day. One pillowcase. I'm sorry. Y'all know I love Kevin Hart. I tried to go this whole video without saying nothing about him. It happened anyway. I love him. So. Y'all know I just had to get a new camera because my everything was looking like mush. I was looking at some of my videos. I was like, I look like a whole everything was just mushed together. I was like, it ain't clear. I had about 88 lights on it sometimes, and they still just looked a mess. I was like, it's just time. I just got to invest. And, oh, by golly, this camera is uh, amazing. I got to work on my angle so y'all can see them, because I don't even think y'all can see them. No. I got to work on my angle. Give it a second. We got the lighting. We got the camera. Now we got to work on the angle so y'all can see the dogs. Some of y'all feel like only watch my videos for my dogs. That's just shameful. It's okay. I don't mind. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever make you watch. Was I the only one who mouth dropped when Kenya was giving her speech and she just like bombed on Keisha? It was like, I mean, besides the fact that we got a hater sitting at the table, I'm so happy that you two are here. Plus, I guess half of you Royce. But yeah, she didn't think we could do it. And God by golly, we did it. What? You still expect me to sit here after you just said that? I'm so happy that Keisha spoke up for herself. She was like, boo-boo. I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to. Girl, she she just dumb and <laughs> on her way, on her, after they was done going back and back, back and forth. And she was like, well, it wasn't supposed to be all that, but then here go Keisha. Did y'all catch that? I was like, did she want to try to jab her in there? And did anybody catch her? Like, she need to 
figure out a new editing team. She need to add an editing person on her team. And somebody should have caught that big old sweat bubble that was on under her uh, right arm when she was filming in the confessional. It was huge. Like It was starting to perspirate over here. Girl, don't you know to put some band-aids or some tissue or some cotton balls or some paper or maxi pad or something under there. Girl, you had some serious sweating problems going on. I was so tickled pink at Royce's reenactment of... of <laughs> Oh, Kenya giving her little speech, girl. Girl, you are on your way, little Royce. And girl, you are on your way. Do you hear me? Tammy, you heard Keisha feelings. You, she was like, did you not know that I got a BA in dance theater? Whatever she said. That was hilarious. But that was so messed up that she gonna tell Royce she needed her help for her kids. And she ain't even invite Keisha. Keisha a dancer too, boo-boo. <sighs> ain't even right. Keisha face was part prices though when Tammy was uninviting her, not really inviting her. She was like... That's what she did. She had brought it all the way over. Yeah, she did. When Royce was meeting with the New York City Council and all the people to talk about the bone marrow. Was I the only one that caught, caught that the city uh, councilman? She reminded me of somebody that I, I've, I've seen on so many shows. She was pretty much talking like Miss Maya Angelo. Royce could definitely get us the boner donors that we need today. Oh, I cut a rug. And I know I said it already, but I was laughing so hard when as soon as them girls walked in for them to all sit down and talk, Tammy was like, and yes, we were talking about y'all when y'all walked in. I was like, God dang. Like, but you know, I think the world would be a better place if people would just say stuff. Just forget it. Yeah, I don't really like it too much. No, it'd be a lot of fights, probably. I don't know. Ooh, but I do love me some Tammy. That girl is just re -entarded. Evelyn just as messy to my wish here, girl. What happened, boo? She just as messy. She, I want to know that T2. I'm happy that they encourage you. And, uh, shoot. Bop, boy, Bop was on it, too. Bop was like, well, I mean, what's happening? She was trying to instigate my cool. I just need Bop to give me that ring. A lot of y'all don't even know who Bop is, so I'm going to tell y'all that Shawnee. Bop stands for big old pimp, so we're just going to start calling her Bop, okay? Bop. Bop. Because she's a big old pimp. bop 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 Yeah, it didn't go well. I thought it was going to go well. It didn't, but that's a Bop. But I want her ring, because that ring, it meant a thing. The ring didn't mean a thing. Yes, it did. I need to get a life. Just kidding. Yeah. So let's go into when Kenya decides that she is about to come in here for this whole audition meet and greet with Timmy and half of her team. Oh, sorry. Rule number one. Did we learn this in Girl Scouts and Cub Scouts? Be prepared. Did you really walk in with your um, pictures on a jump drive? Boo boo. You should have pictures in your car before you do gas. If you really are serious about what you're trying to do, sorry, y'all. Yeah, I got allergies. That's why I'm always wiping my nose and my eyes and everything, just in case y'all wondered. I got terrible allergies. Mm. Sorry. But I'm, I'm so upset with her. And did she really walk in with the hotel radio? Like, the funny thing is when she pulled it out, I was like, that's the radio that sits between the two beds. And you push it, and then the CD come out. Like, she really just unplugged that. Usually that is nailed to the, to the table. Like, she didn't. She gangster. She probably brought her own screwdriver. Like, really? And that baby, they told her to get up and dance. And she said, <laughs> first of all, Tammy was like, girl, you need to let us do something with that hair. And it was, she was like, with my hair? Girl, yes, your hair is looking like whoppity bop bop doo doo bop boom boom shit. Second of all, did you? I did not notice the mortician jacket until she stood up. And I was like, what is that velvet on her back? What is that velvet? Yes, it is. It's velour. It was velour. It wasn't even velvet. Whatever the case, why do you have it on? You need to let it go. <sighs> Another issue. <laughs> that baby was trying to dance. And I think in her head, she was like, boom, boom, boom. Ah, ah, ta, ah, 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 ba, ba, ta, ah. But it didn't come out like that. It was more like... It was awful. And she said, I, I'm sorry, I just can't dance in these clothes. And next thing you're going to say is you can't sing in them either. Girl, stop it. Oh, girl, the song just start over. Just delete all eight of your songs or seven that you have and just, just start from gold. Don't collect your $200. Just start over. Whew. 
that was embarrassing for her though. And the crazy thing is that she don't even realize that anything is wrong. She feel like everything is wrong with everybody else. It's a sad, sad world for that baby. Sad. It was funny because when she was meeting with Tammy, she said that she had a manager that, oh, he was just good in the industry. Girl, you know we know how to read. And at the bottom of where it said manager below his name, it said brother first. Like, you didn't search that far. I believe you searched right at home for that man. Like, come on, stop it. But I guess that's just the industry. We all act like we know bigger people or whatever. I got two managers, actually four. Two of them is my dogs. What? They'll tell me when something is right or wrong. I'm just saying. Shoot. You know what, y'all? I'm just convinced that Susie, she just like to be like whoever she's talking to at the time. Like, Susie was sitting there talking to Keisha. Keisha says she don't like Kenya. You know what? Thank God you don't like her because I ain't like her either. Shut up, Ke uh, Susie. Girl, you don't never like nobody that somebody else like. Then when you go back to them, you don't like the other person. Girl, you are just a bandwagon hopping little sucker you are. But I did love how Kenya went on and read her and went on and told uh, Royce that uh, that girl was calling her little thing boring. But Susie was wrong. Or she was just acting a plum nelly fool at that um, uh, bone marrow little luncheon thing, whatever it was. So she was just like, this is boring. Uh, who else is speaking? Like, everything ain't about a, a cocktail drink and drama. Like, can't you just be at something positive for like two seconds of your life? Oof, Royce, you better than me. That was just one friend that would have been uninvited. I'm good for uninviting people. I don't give a crap. What? It's my party. I cry if I want to and you ain't invited. Y'all, I'm sorry, but y'all know when the other part that had got me? When Tammy broke down. I don't think I've ever seen Tammy cry. And if I have, I think it was just some water in her eyes. But when she broke down and she opened up, whew. I know the producers made her do that because that, that hurt me. Like when she was talking about all the stuff that she had been through. But it really made, made me respect her more as a person because I was like, wow, like this girl, like you, I mean, I guess it would explain though her anger because she is always angry. And I feel like a way to get over what you've been going through is to face it, deal with it and accept it. I mean, not accept it, but um, forgive it forgive what has happened you know so you can move forward because to hold on to it is hard i know because i was jacked before too i was held in gunpoint and i still hold on to a part of it. and this the worst thing in the whole wide world i would not wish it on my worst enemy so i know her pain like i live in fear i hate that so i can understand like you know her anger like we both just gotta let go Y'all, so y'all know I'm always trying to catch stuff on the previews. And I was laughing so hard when Tammy and Keisha had finally got into it. And Keisha was like, please don't call me a bitch. And Tammy was like, bitch, 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 and mo bitch. And it was funny because when they panned over to Kenya, automatically I thought of color purple. And y'all know that scene when Celie was about to leave Mr. Mr. M I S. T E R period. Mister. When she was about to leave Mister and they was just going out, she was like, I ain't never asked for nothing, not even your sorry ass hand in marriage. And all of a sudden it pans over and the first thing you see is Miss Sophia. He 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 setting that jail. Setting that jail. <laughs> Baby, when they panned to that dog on Kenya and she was left, she was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Girl, that was so funny to me. Like, I really was tickled pink. Like, I had to rewind that real quick because that was funny. But it's about to be more drama, y'all. So, woo! I think that's it. Mm. This review is over. It's long enough. I'm going to try to do it. It just be too much. And I don't like to do them two in a row, but sometimes I got to. So, I don't know. We'll see how this is going to go. But I'm happy y'all like the reviews. I love all your comments. I try to comment, you know, and reply to everybody. You know, if I don't, I, I promise I, I read them all and I'm smiling and stuff. And I appreciate you guys for watching. So until next time, y'all know what come next. I'm out. <laughs> you told Hoppo to beat me.